Danny Dyer, born July 24, 1977 in London, is a well-known actor and television personality. Hailing from the working-class neighborhood of Canning Town, Dyer's early life was challenging, but his passion for acting led him to a successful career in the entertainment industry. He gained recognition with his role in the 2001 film The Football Factory, where he portrayed a football hooligan, establishing himself as a go-to actor for gritty, authentic characters. His popularity soared when he joined the cast of the BBC soap opera EastEnders in 2013, playing the beloved Mick Carter. Let's take a look at his journey and even some controversies he had on the way. Danny Dyer's life and career Danny Dyer's upbringing was far from easy. The streets of Canning Town were known for their roughness, and Dyer himself has spoken about the challenges he faced growing up. He attended local schools where he wasn't particularly academically inclined, but he was known for his charisma and natural ability to entertain those around him. His early encounters with acting came through school plays and local theater groups, where he discovered a passion for performance. But the opportunities available to him were limited, and he soon found himself involved in petty crime during his teen years. It wasn't until he was discovered by an agent at age 16 that his life took a significant turn. The agent saw potential in Dyer and encouraged him to pursue acting professionally. Career Achievements and Best Works Danny Dyer's acting career began in earnest in the late 90s when he landed his first TV roles. His early work included appearances in British television dramas such as Prime Suspect and Codfile. However, it wasn't until the early 2000s that Dyer gained widespread recognition. His breakthrough came in 2001 with the release of The Football Factory, a film directed by Nick Love. In this gritty drama, Dyer played Tommy Johnson, a football hooligan deeply entrenched in the violent subculture surrounding British football. The film was a critical and commercial success, and Dyer's portrayal of Tommy Johnson was widely praised. The Football Factory became a cult classic and established Dyer as a leading actor in the British film industry. His performance was marked by its authenticity, and Dyer became known for his ability to portray tough, working-class characters with nuance and depth. Following the success of The Football Factory, Dyer continued to collaborate with Nick Love on several other projects, further solidifying his reputation as an actor who excelled in gritty urban dramas. In 2005, he starred in The Business, another film directed by Love, where he played Frankie, a young man who becomes involved in the drug trade in Spain. The film was another hit, and Dyer's performance was once again praised for its intensity and authenticity. Dyer's work in these films made him a household name in the UK and he became a sought-after actor for roles that required a tough, streetwise persona. In 2008, he appeared in Adulthood, a sequel to the critically acclaimed film Kidulthood. In this film, he played Hayden, a menacing figure from the London underground. His performance added to the film's success and demonstrated his ability to bring depth to even the most unsavory characters. In addition to his film work, he found success on television. His most significant television role came in 2013 when he joined the cast of the long-running BBC soap opera EastEnders. Dyer was cast as Mick Carter, the landlord of the Queen Vic pub, a role that became one of the most iconic in the show's history. Dyer's portrayal of Mick Carter was widely praised for its authenticity and emotional depth. He brought a sense of realism to the character, making Mick one of the most beloved figures on the show. His work on EastEnders earned him several awards, including the National Television Award for Best Serial Drama Performance. His portrayal of Mick Carter also helped revitalize the show, which had been struggling with declining ratings prior to his arrival. Dyer's presence on the show brought in a new audience and helped make EastEnders a cultural phenomenon once again. He's also hosted several documentary series and reality shows. His natural charisma and candid personality have made him a popular figure in British television. Notably, he hosted the documentary series Danny Dyer's Deadliest Men, where he interviewed some of the UK's most notorious criminals. The show was a hit, further cementing Dyer's status as a versatile and engaging television personality. As a voice actor, he also hosted the popular character Kent Paul in Grand Theft Auto Vice City and Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Personal Life 
Danny Dyer's personal life has often been the subject of media attention, particularly his long-term relationship with Joanne Moss. The couple met when they were just 14 years old, and their relationship has endured the ups and downs of Dyer's career and public life. Despite their on-and-off relationship during their early years, they've remained together through thick and thin. In 2016, after nearly three decades together, they finally tied the knot in a ceremony attended by close friends and family. The wedding was a big moment for Dyer, who had always been candid about his deep love and respect for Joanne. The couple have three children, Danny, Sonny, and Artie. Danny Dyer, the eldest, has followed in her father's footsteps and pursued a career in the entertainment industry. She gained fame in her own right by winning the reality TV show Love Island in 2018, further raising the public profile of the Dyer family. Danny's success in the public eye has brought her even closer to her father, and the two share a close bond, often appearing together in interviews and on social media. Dyer has spoken openly about the challenges of balancing his career with his responsibility as a father. Despite his busy schedule, he's always made it clear that his family is his top priority. His relationship with his children, particularly Danny, has been a source of pride for him, and he often speaks about the importance of being a good father and role model. 30 years since your first television appearance, how does that feel? Yeah, I, 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 uh, it's, it's, it's crazy. Um, yeah, I started when I was 15, 15 years of age, yeah. And coming from the background I come from, um, you know, you don't really stand a chance. Danny has not been without his share of controversies. One of the most significant incidents occurred in 2010 when a letter was published in Zoo magazine in which Dyer allegedly giving relationship advice suggested that a young man should, quote, cut his ex's face to deal with a breakup. The letter sparked outrage across the media and internet, with many condemning the advice as violent and inappropriate. Dyer, however, quickly claimed his words had been completely misquoted and the letter did not reflect his true intentions. But the backlash was intense, and he faced considerable criticism online. Another notable controversy involved his reaction to film critic Mark Kermode's impression of him. Kermode, known for his acerbic reviews, has made an impression of Dyer, which the actor found deeply offensive. In the case of this, Danny, the one thing, the one register that Danny Dyer does is, oh, he's an oh, gazer, oh, he's an and in the cake of this movie, staggeringly, Danny Dyer is gay, wearing the sheets. Oh, you come to me on the case of my daughter, on Elvis Jack. It's winning. Oh, 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 you don't show me no respect. Oh, leery, laddie, dreary nonsense, right? And Danny Dyer. Dyer, who is known for his blunt and straightforward personality, publicly expressed his anger and even mentioned wanting to headbutt Kermode for the perceived slight. This reaction further fueled his reputation as someone who could be volatile and unfiltered when responding to criticism. Dyer has also openly admitted to occasionally taking drugs, a revelation that has added to the list of controversies surrounding him. He has stated his belief in the legalization of drugs, arguing that it could be a more effective way to manage substance use in society. His candidness about drug use has drawn both criticism and support, reflecting the divided public opinion on the issue. Despite the controversies, Danny remains a popular and well-loved actor. His fans appreciate his authenticity and willingness to speak his mind, even when it lands him in hot water. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you think Danny Dyer will be remembered as one of the long list of working-class actors who've made an impact in British entertainment? Let us know in the comments section below.